The Audi e-tron S and Coupe inspired e-tron S Sportback arrived to give the brand's electric crossovers a boost in performance. These performance focused models offer 496 horsepower and 717 foot pounds of torque on 8 second boost mode rather than the existing model's 402 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. During normal driving, the S has 405 horsepower and 596 foot-pounds of torque versus 355 horsepower and 414 foot-pounds of torque on a regular versions. The drive has been programmed for efficiency in everyday life. In normal driving mode, only the rear electric motors work. The front drive is unpowered but switches itself on, with the driver barely noticing. If the driver needs more power, it also switches on predictively if the grip declines. It does so when fraction values are low and during rapid cornering. The electric all-wheel drive is complemented by a further technical innovation in the form of electrical torque vectoring, which brings the advantages of the conventional sport differential into the electric era. Each one of the rear electric motors sends the drive forces directly to the wheel via a transmission. There is no longer a mechanical differential. 40 years following the launch of Quattro technology, Audi is thus raising the principle of four powered wheels to a completely new level of technology. The result? More agile driving and self-steering characteristics and thus a higher cornering speed. On the interior, there isn't that much difference over the existing e-tron models. Electrically adjustable sport seats are standard and S badges adorn the cabin. As options, buyers can select chairs with thicker bolsters or air conditioned seats with perforated leather. Audi doesn't offer any pricing or delivery info for the e-tron S models yet. Judging by the rest of the brand's lineup, it's safe to expect them to carry a cost premium over the existing versions.
And the, all the e tron S sport bike now feels like a true Audi was it was in the day. You have the traction and you have the handling, so it feels really good. In the end of the day, I think this car is more efficient than what we have in the days. For me, the torque vacuum feels really good because you can get the car sliding a bit and it's not that much understeer what you was used to with the old car. So that seems to be working very well. Now, but it's like everything I think with the, with the new thing, you have to learn a little bit how it's working, but that feels quite easy with the e tron now. So it's because torque vectoring and things, it's helping the handling a lot.